hi guys welcome to my channel guys today in this video i am going to show you that how you can make this beautiful responsive team section for your website most of websites use this type of team sections to make their website look beautiful so guys uh, before starting this video i will request you that please subscribe to my channel and if you have any related question then you can ask me in the comment section so okay guys let's get started first of all here i have two files one for html and one for css and these images are the same size i will show you the width and height of these images the width of this image is 350 pixel and the height of these images are 250 pixels you have to use the same size of images in this uh, project so okay guys uh, let's get started with the html but before starting with the bootstrap you have to copy the bootstrap started template for your project visit the get bootstrap website and copy this started template from this website and just paste it in your html file and remove the unwanted content from this uh, template First of all, we are going to start with the section, section with the class of team and inside this section I am taking one container and inside this container, first of all we have to design this heading and this paragraph. First of all, I am taking one h1 heading and let me copy this heading, the executive team and here I am taking some padding, padding top and bottom is 3 and the text in this container will be centered and after that, after this heading I am taking one paragraph and let me copy this paragraph and just paste it right here i am taking uh, the class of p1 so we will design this paragraph in uh, our css so after this uh, paragraph i am taking one row and inside this row i am taking the class with the column 4 for the large screen and inside this uh, column we have to design uh, we have to paste this uh, image and after this one heading and this uh, gray type uh, gray color heading and after this we have to take these three circles having an icons inside this first of all we have to take an image image and and the image i am going to take uh, right over here is the that and whenever you want to use an image class an image uh, tag in the bootstrap you have to take the image fluid class so your image will be responsive and after this uh, image I am taking one heading of h5 and let me copy this heading and paste it right over here and after this heading I am taking one small tag and copy this and paste it inside this small tag after that after this we have to design these circles this circle and having an icon in this uh, circle first of all here I am taking one row and inside this row I am taking one uh, a div with the class of Facebook, Twitter and uh, Pinterest and inside this uh, div with the class of Facebook I am taking one spam tag and inside this spam tag I have to take one uh, Facebook uh, icon from the font awesome website and all of icons I take get from this font awesome website for free and if you want any uh, and if you want any type of icons from this font awesome website first of all you have to sign in and the font awesome website will send you a kit and i already have this uh, kit in the form of link you have to copy this link and paste it in your html file inside the head and copy the link of this facebook icon and paste it in the spam tag inside the id of facebook and after that I am taking one more ID one more div with the class of uh, Twitter and inside this Twitter at uh, ID I am taking one more span tag and pasting the Facebook link the Facebook icon link and just edit this link with the Twitter and after that I am going to take one more div with the uh, ID of uh, Pinterest and inside that I am taking the spam tag tag again and pasting the Facebook uh, link Facebook icon link and just uh, added this link with the Pinterest and uh, this is all this is just this one section this one section and we will design the another two section after designing this one section so now I am going to design this uh, paragraph with a glass of P so first of all here in our CSS file I am taking our universal tag with the padding 0 margin 0 and box sizing is border box 
so first of all we have to design the p1 we have to increase the font size of this paragraph and the font weight and the color the font size of this paragraph will be 21 pixel and the font weight the font weight will be lighter and the color of this uh, paragraph is gray now if we see the output of all of this that we design so here you can see the output but this paragraph is not added because we did not uh, link this uh, css in our html so now let me link the css file so now if we see the output so here you can see the output we get this uh, paragraph like this one and after that we have to design this image uh, with the box shadow and this box shadow i generate this box shadow from the box shadow website the css matic website from here you can generate any type of box shadow for your image and after that we have to design this uh, ids with the f and after that we have to design this div with the id of facebook twitter and pinterest So now we have to design these uh, circles having an icons inside that. So right here I am taking the Facebook ID. First of all I am taking the width that is 45 pixel and the height. The height will also 45 pixel and the border radius is 50% because we want the circle and uh, the background background color for the face book is blue let me change it little bit more we want this color for the Facebook and after that the color of the text will be white and the font size will be 20 pixel and padding top will be 7 pixel and after that we have to design the i the div with the id of uh, twitter first of all i am taking the width the same for 45 pixel and the height 45 pixel and the border radius is 50 percent and the background color for the twitter is uh, let me take the blue and we have to change this color let me take this color and after that uh, uh, the font size the font size is uh, let me is 20 pixel and padding top is 7 pixel and the color of the text is white okay and after that let me design the pinterest copy all this content and just uh, change the background color for the pinterest we want this this color so okay now if you see the output for all of this so here you can see the output but this uh, divs are not in centered and we want some margin between these uh, divs so let me add some margin between these uh, we have to add margin left and right is 3 and uh, right here we we have to use the text center property because we want these divs in centered and we have to use the display property inline block and copy this property and paste it inside the other two divs and now if you see the output this is not in centered we have to use one more property to justify uh, justify content center so right here don't use this text center property by use and use the justify content center property and we want some padding top is yes, three so now if you see the output So here you can see the output and if we have to add some more margin so let me add the margin in the twitter uh, div 
margin left and right so margin top is 0 and left and right is 10 pixel so now if you see the output so here you can see the output we get all this design same but now we have to add uh, let me design this this tag the small tag let me add right over here the color is gray and the font weight is bold so now if you see the output for this heading so here you can see we added this small tag and now uh, we have to add this uh, box shadow for this image uh, here I'm using the box shadow of uh, we have to use this box shadow generator you have to copy this content from right here and just uh, image and copy it right over here and let me add some border radius for this image uh, border radius is uh, 10 pixel because we want the same uh, output right over here and here if you see we get this uh, box shadow but not the same as we have we have to in if you want to increase this box shadow now if we if you use this box shadow copy this and replace it and now if you see the output so here you can see the output with the awesome box shadow and let me add some margin between this image and this heading so here i am taking some margin bottom for the image let me add some margin bottom for the image is 5 and now if you see the output so here you can see the output we get the same output uh, that we have right over here uh, you can add any type of bo any uh, type of box shadow and any type of in image right over here uh, so right now we design this one uh, section you, we have to copy this two section as well so just copy this column and paste it two times we just have to change the image and now if you see the output so here you can see the output the same output that we have right over here we have some more uh, margin between this uh, paragraph and this images so we have to add some margin between this and now if i add some margin between this paragraph let me add some margin padding bottom three now if i see the output padding top three so here you can see the output we get the same output right over here and this is our team section and this is where designed very beautifully you can design this team section for more team section you can click on the link below and if you watch the whole video the complete video then thank you and please subscribe to my channel